Okie dokie fucking chokey. Let's go. Episode 5 of Zero. We still got a few things left to do. I got the barbarian flesh for his face. I've got the gloss for the gems. I've got the bronze. And I've got the void shield. All for the gems. Well, not all of those are for the gems. The bronze is for the blade, the hilt. So let's do that. Ah, welcome back, everybody. How we doing? I'm Trooper Six, if y'all are unaware. This is our lovely little spot on Pongo Paints called Let's Paint, where I do some real-time painting and talk to you guys about a whole smattering of whatever. And this week, as well as the past month, we are doing Zero from the Mega Man series. I guess I should be more specific, say the Mega Man X series, in case there's anybody out there that gets all uppity about that. But like, eh, excuse you, actually it's from the X series. I'm like, yeah, 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 I know. I know. I even fixed some things off camera. We took a bit of a break here, actually. I took a, I took a couple hours, hung out with the fam, with the actual family. Not whatever people call fam these days. I feel like they don't use that term appropriately. Then again, who am I? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Either way, took some time, hung out with the family, even had a chance to play some Mega Man X again. I'm at the final stage. Uh, I'm at I'm at the assault on Sigma Fortress or Castle of whatever it's supposed to be. I don't really know. Um, <clears throat> let's get some void shield blue out. We're going to do that, uh, that head gemstone real quick. Just put a little bit there. That's still too much, but it's whatever. Um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd been farming for some lives. Like one of the last times that I did it, man, I blew through all those goddamn lives because I suck at side scrollers and I had my ass handed to me, was very much humbled and reminded that I suck at side-scrollers. <laughs> so, that happened. And now we're here. I don't know, I want to say I had, I had somewhere close to like, uh, I probably had about eight lives. I was about to say, I, I'm pretty sure I had close to ten and then I had such an inner debate about this, and it was unnecessary. Anyway, yeah, I had about eight lives. And I'm pretty sure I'm on my last one. And it's just at the beginning part, where you got to fight through those turtles, and then you get to the uh, the platforms, and you got those little dumbass airships coming in. Oh, fuck those things. I hate those things. Those things can go to hell. I fucking hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Uh, their flight pattern is so stupid. They're not even particularly tough enemies. They're just a pain in the ass. Like I said, I hate their flight pattern. Oh, it drives me nuts. And I was just, I was getting my, I was getting my world rocked. I was blown through lives just because I we either get hit by them and it would knock me off the platform and then of course I, nothing was lined up so I just fell to my death or even I just uh, time my jumps wrong got too hasty with it it was a multitude of things going on there and I just sucked 
So I quit it. I was like, all right, that's it. Now that I'm re-immersed in Mega Man <clears throat> and went and got myself all pissed. I was like, that seems like a good goddamn time for me to go right back upstairs and to fucking paint. And I'm really amazed that I don't have a caffeine headache right now because I didn't have any form of caffeine or coffee this morning. Um, I had a banana and I took my antibiotic and that was it. So I've got myself a certain energy drink, Java. Uh, salted caramel. Or caramel. As we folk in the South like to say. Some flat out caramel. You know, before I get to that glow effect, we're going to jump back over here to the yellow. Because, like I said, when I was doing some off-screen work, um, I went ahead and just fixed a couple of things. Like all the metal work that I did. So I'm, I'm leaving the metal around the, uh, the chest gems, but like the ears and the ankles. Of course, I double-checked the, uh, the, the reference pictures and everything, and yep, those ankles were supposed to be white. And so were the ears with some yellow innards. So I fixed it. So that won't be an issue. I'd rather have it. <clears throat> I'd rather have it as accurate as possible, or at least within my scope of caring. Like the under shoulder right there. Um, that's supposed to be white, as I've pointed out before. And I just don't care to go back and fix that. I really don't. I've already painted it red. I don't want to have to do multiple layers of white uh, to bring that out. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Because there wasn't much to do here when it came to the ears and the ankles. And I'm already a little irritated that this has gone on to a fifth episode. Which... If y'all were irritated at the same fact, dude, I would not blame you. And dude, I'm right there with you. I didn't want to be here for fucking five episodes. This mini ain't that big. It ain't even that detailed of a character design. So I don't know what the hell it was doing. It was probably all the blending and whatnot. What, what, what? We spent an entire episode blending that damn saber? Whatever. Whatever. Let's get some barbarian flesh out and get his damn face. I also um, painted up the hair. I got that yellowed and I even dry brushed some white uh, to give it that highlight. And then of course when I hit it with the wash, it's going to seep right in there and it's going to do a good job. Alright, for the face I'm going to use this zero gauge brush just to really get in there um, and I had changed up my music now it is now some <sighs> it's it's claiming to be lo-fi and I'm not sure if I would ever actually categorize this as lo-fi but it's all right it's uh, it's Mega Man lo-fi uh, the first one that I put on, I was like, uh, I can barely hear any of this, and it just doesn't sound like much is going on. So I turned it off, I went to this, and it's alright. Uh, I dig it. Again, I wasn't sure if I would have considered it lo-fi, but it's whatever. I, I dig it. It's chilling. I'm, I'm picking up what it's putting down. Get under that blade. And get near that eye. I gotta adjust this. All right. Ah, you bitch. Use my nail to get some of that off, and then I'll go back and touch that with the red. Yeah, I touched the face. Oops. I'm coming in at a interesting angle here because the blade. The blade is very movable though, but I'm I'm trying not to do too much of that. 
because I don't want to fucking break anything. Because if I break that blade, uh, I'll I probably won't cry, but I'll probably cry. Because my God, <laughs> wherever it breaks, I don't want to try to glue that and try to deal with that. And we're gonna go back to that electric blue real quick, and we're going to hit the pupil or the iris <laughs> iris as I hear is a popular joke oh I know it's off camera I'm sorry guys I was trying to really focus on on getting that because that pupil really was or the iris whatever it really was off screen or I mean really was hidden on that uh, left eye. And I didn't feel like using a darker blue either. It'd be alright. So. He's coming together and he's looking pretty nice, dude. I gotta say, I've, I very much like this model. Um, I'm probably gonna keep saying it, but again, I'm gonna thank... Uh, the Bearded Bison... Um, and it just hit me in the first video when I had thanked the bearded bison for sending me this mini, uh, I want to clarify cause I, I know I already did, but I, I want to say it one more time. They didn't just flat out send me this, the miniature. Once again, bearded bison did not send me this he sent it to me in exchange for money, as any business does. And that's not a jab at him or anything like that. I just wanted to make sure that I made that clear because I know how that can be. Um, like, for instance, I know uh, Game Grumps, they would you know thank some fan for sending them a game, and that's what happened. They sent them a game. Um yeah, Bearded Bison did not send me this. We, we're not in cahoots or anything. Uh, we don't have some deal. Uh, I bought this from Fair and Square because I've been on a Mega Man kick and I wanted to fucking top it off, close out my, my current Mega Man obsession with a nice big exclamation point. You would think that... This X, this Mega Man X would be a fine exclamation point. And it is. I, I do love that armor so much. And to where I, I might just make a homebrew chapter out of that and call them, I don't know. I don't know. The Mega Legion. Probably. Something like that. And I was thinking about doing the same for Zero because I love that color scheme. I very much like that color scheme. You see that? See that? If he were to stand up, he would be probably just as tall as the Primaris. And that's awesome. Which also, I feel like if anybody were to do uh, scaling and right. So the reason why when I did the original Blue Bomber, when I did Mega Man, um, I used a Firstborn Marine. Because I wanted him to be notably shorter. And I didn't even use the Mark III Marines. Uh, who were even bigger than those. But smaller than the uh, Primaris. I, I wanted it very distinct. That he was shorter. But. Now we're going to hit this blade up. We're going to use this technical. Tesseract Glow. I've been using it a couple times. Um, I use it on on these things. Let me see if I can just pull it in. Okay. As you can see, you know, green and kind of glowy. I use it on, uh, plasmas. I even used it on, uh, zero era, his, uh, sword, his power sword there. Try to make it glow a bit. And I'm really debating because once I do this, it's gonna change the color, but it's okay. It's supposed to be a saber and it's supposed to glow, so we are going to do it. And I'm going to try to leave that white alone because that white 
is actually very uh it's very useful it's very helpful but as you can see i'm trying to go with the blade and i'm even trying to kind of stay off of the dark green that that angel green that we had on there cuz i don't want that particular color to really glow i'm trying to blend it with it but i don't need it <clears throat> i don't need it to glow i don't want to change the hue of it either because that's just unnecessary but i am going to change it on the back here so that all of the uh all of the white that i had edge highlighted a little sloppily but like i said it's for a it's for an energy blade and i wanted that to you know be a little bit like that just try to bring out the how much it actually does fluctuate and then just have the power radiating and this underside this underside has been kind of fucking and to me, a disappointment a little bit, but it's, it's blended in its own different way is what I guess I'm going to try to tell myself. I don't know. Some people might be like, yeah, it didn't really work or yeah, it did work. And I don't know. I guess that's up to y'all, the audience to really hash out amongst yourselves whether or not I pulled it off. I personally do not think I pulled it off, but that's okay because we're all learning and everything, and it's also on the back side of it, so I don't really care all that much. You won't really be able to notice it all that much. One thing I thought would have been funny is if... I almost forgot the foot. If... Uh, you know, I buy this from uh, Bearded Bison, and then I paint it, and it might end up on the Etsy... Uh, if you were to buy it back, <laughs> that would have been funny. I am not expecting anything like that. In fact, I would tell him, dude, why would you do something like that? Unless you wanted it. That would have been an honest thing from him. But, uh, excuse me. But no, I had a, I had a little private chuckle at that. Like, wouldn't that just be a little silly? And you're hearing me shift, sifting through trying to find oh all right there it is my daughter was up here and we were pouring through some paints looking at stuff because i've been getting her into painting me and the wife have but we're going to use pure red and i'm just going to hit that boot and hit the jump jet on his boot but um yeah she stuffed all the green paint that i had out oh she stuffed it in there and i was like Damn it, that stuff is not... Oh. Certain paints go in certain places, and the the greens and the blues do not go in my, my Pokemon tin that I have most of my paints in. I'll have to hit that with another coat in just a few minutes when this dries. <laughs> <clears throat> my apologies folks good friggin lord yeah being sick sucks sick sucks, sucks, sucks anyway so since we've got basically everything man that blade looks in my opinion it looks so much better now oh i dig that a lot especially since i left the white alone mm. but you know what i gotta try to do right his shoulder right there you know, we got to try to pull off the zero symbol. However, I'm not going to be using the red, and I'm definitely not going to be using the yellow. We are going back to our favorite Faber-Castell uh, little black felt pen. We are going back to that. That's what I did for the Warhammer one. It's a little sloppy. I, I do apologize for that. But, man, you could really see the grain on the white. I should have cleaned that up a lot better. 
But then again, it was like 2 a.m. when I finished it. And there it is with the white. I just did that with a brush. But we're going to attempt to do the same. And if anything, we're going to move the camera just a little bit. All right. Because I want to get a lot more comfortable when I'm doing this. So here we go. And as you can see, he hesitates, checks the camera, two, three, and a fourth time. Now he stares at the thing. He rotates the pen. He's not sure what to do. But he knows what the symbol more or less looks like. Will he do the symbol? Or will he make his own? I don't know. But all I can do is make the first line. And all I can do is make the second line. Uh, it's a tough call, guys. And I can, I can almost hear you people trying to cheer me on to just to just do the symbol. And oh god, I don't want to mess that up. High risk, high reward, right? Mm, 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 mm. Oh man, go figure. Now that I'm trying to think of it, it's it's slightly getting out of my head. But I am going to Ooh, ooh. I almost did it backwards, too. I was about to do it this way. Oh, man, that would have been fucking stupid, wouldn't it? We're going to leave the smallest of a gap. How about that? Do it like this. It's tough. It's tough, tough, tough. Mm -mm -mm. Very tough. But I think that's as close as we're going to be able to get it without fudging everything. And we're going to leave that gap there just because it makes it stand out just a little bit. But I couldn't really bring this point up. I might if I can just get closer. My hand's shaking a little too much right there. So we're going to have to leave it at that. So that's it. That's it, folks. That's all we're getting out of this one. Because we wanted to try to be careful with it. But you know what? It's not too shabby. If I do say so myself, which you are not here to say so with me. So I will say so my damn self. Thank you very much. And now all we got to do is put the hair on and do some ord. The hair is going to be a tricky part because it's such a small connecting piece. It's it's tiny and I'm just not sure how this is going to work because the hair is actually quite thick and quite heavy. Mm -mm -mm. And I've expressed my concerns to them when it came to things like that. Like guys, maybe revisit the design then again, you know, you're working with a character design that's already concrete. Um, there's not exactly much you can do about it. If that's what the character looks like, that's kind of what the character looks like. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, alright. If I can do that and just let the hair kind of hang on him, it'll be okay. Oh. I'm sorry. I know that was so off camera, but all right. So we've got the hair attached, but it is sitting on his shoulder and back. Uh, but the glue is holding. So we're going to have to let that glue hold for a little bit. And we're at the 25 minute mark. But I guess 
for that purpose, we are going to call it right here. We won't bother with any of the shading on camera because I need time for this thing to, uh, to dry. But, oh my God, there he is. Zero. My favorite out of the Mega Man universe. And a close second, a very close second is Proto Man. And I might even do a Proto Man mini uh, either on my own or maybe even for another episode. Uh, that is to be determined. But either way, guys, I want to give you guys a huge thank you to sticking around for me for these five episodes. While I got this zero painted up, I do apologize for taking so long. I didn't mean for this to go past a month since I do weekly uploads, but it's also a character that means a lot to me. He's my favorite, and for cool-ass reason. I mean, look how awesome he is. You can't get much cooler than Zero, dude. And Proto Man is awesome, but still. Again, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot wait to, to put this on the turntable and to show it off. I got to clean up that, that base a little bit, get the, get the little white spots gone. But again, thank you. And I also want to say again, a huge thank you to the bearded bison. You are awesome, dude. And anyone and anyone, uh, anyone and everyone who works for you, if you do have a team, I can't remember right off the top of my head right now, but I want to thank anyone and everyone at the Bearded Bison for making this mini come to life, and thank you so much for allowing me to get this and to post it. Uh, man, what an awesome, awesome mini. I really hope they make a Proto Man. I've already talked to them about it. I, I totally want one. I really hope they make one. But uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode, the next series. Until then, Void Father, please guide their brushes. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all this, that, and the other. And I will see you guys on the next one, all right? Let's say one last goodbye to the little team there. Look at them. Look at them all. And we get to add one more. See you, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you.